Hi, George here. And today we'll remove the color cast from this photo, obviously very, very yellow. And we'll say this can be done using three different methods, starting with the easiest, but the worst, going on to the most difficult, but the best technique. Okay, the easiest is by going up here to the guided edit. Let that load in. Go over here to the color tab. And then right here we have remove color cast. Click on that. It's going to automatically load in the image that was loaded over there in the expert mode. Easy to use, just over here it says color cast selection, click on that, that gives you this little eyedropper, and then click on someplace that should be white. Now this guy might be white, I'm pretty sure her top is white, so I'll have a spot here, kind of a mid-tone area, click on that, and that's a little bit better, hard to say. With this tool, it's best to go up here where it says view, and set this to before, after, horizontal, you can then compare that. So that's whiter than this. But overall, the picture isn't that much better. Let's just try the sky up here. That gets it a lot closer, as you can see. But there's still a lot of problems in here. Now, the sky could be blue and not white. It's hard to say, again, exactly what it should be. But for this one, clicking in the light area up here seems to work. Now, there's too much blue in the hair. There's some blue happening elsewhere. So it's not the best solution, but it's fast and it's pretty good. Okay, let's just cancel out of that. Click the cancel button. We'll go over here to the expert mode and go to our next technique. And that's up here under Enhance. Come down to Color. And the top option here is Remove Color Cast. There we go. Notice we have the same tool here, a little eyedropper tool. We'll try the sky again. And it's a little bit better, not as much blue in the hair this time, a little bit softer on the color. So it's doing a bit of a softer color cast on that. Now, when you're doing this kind of removal of colors or changing anything inside of your image here, there is one step we should do first. So I'll just cancel this. And let's go over here to your background layer, right click. Duplicate that layer, choose OK, and then make your color change on this layer so you have the background layer saved as a safety just in case something goes wrong. You can always go back to your original. Okay, so take a look at that real fast again. Enhance, come down to adjust color, remove color cast, click into the sky. That's not too bad. Let's reset that. Let's try her shirt again. Okay, we get the better selection in here from the sky, I think. So I'll reset, hit the sky. And there we go. Again, it's not really quite there yet. There's still too much blue in here. There's a bit of blue in the sky as well. We can compare these now easily. Just hide your new layer. There's the original, and here is the new one. Okay, let's now take a look at a much better way of doing this. I'll hide that layer. Let's make a new copy of the background layer. Duplicate layer. Choose OK. Pull that one to the top. And now we're going to use an adjustment layer here. I prefer adjustment layers than anything else because adjustment layers protect your original layer here from the adjustments. You can always go back and change or tweak without damaging your original layer. So I'll go up here to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer. Now we want to adjust the hue or the color, so we want hue saturation right there. Check this checkbox where it says Use Previous Layer. That just links it into that one layer in here. Now we know it's too yellow. That's pretty easy to see. So where it says Channel Master, click on this and choose yellows, and then bring the saturation down for the yellow. This removes saturation. Notice right now, as soon as I did that, the sky has a better look to it, and there's not as much blue up in here inside of her hair. So already it is a better quality than we had before. We can just take a look at that real fast. I can hide, I'll show this layer, hide that. That is the one using the color cast tool, and here is the adjustment using this hue saturation. It's a much better color adjustment. Also, with the hue saturation, we can come in and try to tweak the colors a little bit. Yellow is opposite of purple. Purple is made up of reds and blues. So if you wanted to remove more yellow, I could tweak the reds and the blues and do the same thing. If we have too much blue in here, I can click on blue and bring back the blue just a little bit to try to help out. And I think that does help just a touch, maybe that much. We can try our reds. So we have much more control here. It may take a bit more work, but you have much better control. And that's looking pretty good right in here. Okay, now the last thing we need, obviously, is that the image is washed out. We can adjust that with our levels control. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Same thing, check that checkbox, choose OK. And those are values in here. There's a big spike right here. That's your light values. And over here, this is your dark values. There's very few darks on the dark end. And that one spike here on the light end. So I want to increase my contrast. And generally, you take your white and move it into where your light values are beginning to show up. So I right here, 
And same thing with your dark values. Pull those in until your darks are beginning to show up, which is probably right around in here somewhere. There we go. Maybe back it off just a little bit. You can lighten up your midtones or darken your midtones down with this midtone controller. And I think that's getting pretty good right in there. That's a pretty good look. Okay, there we go. The best of all three versions in here, as you can see, is using the adjustment layers, hue, saturation, and levels. Now, it's still a little washed out on the color. You can still work with that as well. And that's going to be your overall saturation. And for that, here's another reason why I like using the adjustment layers. I can go back to the layer, click on the thumbnail for the hue saturation. I have it set at master, which leaves all the other adjustments in place. And I'll increase the overall saturation for the picture just a little bit like that. I'm being careful because there is some brightness down here. I don't want this to go really super flaming orange. So I'll leave it about here. I can also bring that back a bit by adjusting my other colors if I wanted to. And by using these different hue saturation controls and levels control, you can do a real nice job on bringing back your color. Now there are other problems in this image also as well. Like we have kind of a weird banding happening up here, things like that. I would fix this stuff either with a clone stamp tool or blur those areas out. I'd probably replace this sky with a better sky, those kinds of things. But the main problem here was that color cast. We've now seen three ways to do that with the best way using these adjustment layers. Now, if you like this training, make sure you hit that like button. That really helps out the channel show up in search. Also, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.